Hey guys, Jay here from Jaco. Today I'm going to show you how I set up my Linux um, Linux into play games from my Epic account through a launcher called Lit Lutri. Now I'm sure that there are some other ways in here, but this is how I set it up in order for me to play games from my Epic account. If you have any other suggestion or anything, uh, any other recommendation, please leave a comment down below. Okay. So I'm just going to show you which Linux I'm running at. I'm running at the uh, Arch Linux with a KDE Plasma environment 5.22.1 and I'm using also a, a Wayland. Uh, if you have an NVIDIA account, uh, I suggest you just stick with X11 or XORG because Wayland and NVIDIA, they don't go along together. And I have a AMD processor and graphics card which is really, really Linux friendly. Okay. So if you don't have any any Lutris yet, you can head over to their website through your favorite web, web browser and you can click on the download page and whichever distro you are you could, there's an instruction on, on each distro here for example if you're into Ubuntu based uh, distros Pop OS Ubuntu and uh, you could add the Lutris or install Lutris from their instruction okay so once you have that installed you can start your Lutris and once you have oh why I close the the because uh, there's something as you could see here I have the Epic Game Store uh, installed already but to install Lutris in I um, mean to install Epic on your Lutris you head onto their website and search for Epic. Okay. I'm gonna show you as well the reason why I think the games installed on your Epic launcher is not launching because the known issues here are the Epic Online Services cannot be installed. And if you are into Linux gaming, you already know uh, in order to play games in Linux, you really need to be patient. Unlike when you are on Windows, you just install Epic Launcher, install the game or download the game, install the game, then you just click and then you play. Now, that's the problem of the Linux gaming. And I hope one day that they will fix this one, that you can just also install just the same way and then and then uh, you can just play normally because I'm still doing dual boot. I'm still running a Windows but for playing games. But I would really like, I would really, really love because now I'm drawn into Linux. Okay, to install Lutris or to install Epic into your Lutris, you can click this install. It will automatically choose, it should choose, or you choose an application, you see here, um, Lutris. Now, I'm not gonna install now because I have already installed, but you can just open link and the browser or the Lutris should automatically install the Epic Game Store. Okay, so now you have it installed, you go to the Lutris and you can just click the play button here. For installing the Epic, you just need to go next, next. You don't have to configure because it's already, um, it will not install, it will not create any desktop shortcut and so on and so forth. But this is just so we can download the game itself from your library. So head over to your, um, library and then install any games whatever you choose and I'm just gonna demo you here I downloaded already the game con control this was free from epic store some few weeks ago so if I click it launch unfortunately it will not launch and the workaround that I've done on this one is that I'm gonna show you you could see it's not launching it's doing a synchronization and so on so you can close now this or minimize this go to your um, Lutris 
find the place wherein you installed the Epic Store. In my case, I have on my preferences, I have the default installation folder of the Lutris called the uh, home my home directory and I made a folder called uh, games here so this is the one so this epic launcher is installed onto my folder which I set it up on my Lutris this epic store here so if you can find it's gonna be on drive C program files epic games and here so what I did was I copied this one you can also cut but for for you for to test it out first you can copy this folder into another folder in my case i have i have copied it onto outside the epic launcher and then after it's copy you can add the game into your address by clicking the plus button here as you can see i have already here uh, added i'm not gonna add now but I'm, i will just show you how i did add here Add game, and then we can uh, type in a um, called Control uh, Epic or whatever you wanted to call. And then you need to add a runner. And if you have a Lutris, you should choose a a runner. And in my case, I used Wine. And then game option, you need to find the executable file. In my case, I normally you just add the executable file that's the control.exe but in this control in this particular game when i added the control.exe it's not launching so and same with the control dx12 it's not launching uh, neither and this control dx11 that's the executable file that i've added and then it was launching i'm just going to show you here my configuration as you could see here, I'm running Wine, I set the name Control, and on the Game option, as you could see here, the DX11, it's, it's here on the DX11, and of course the Working Directory, you need, you need to set it up, go to the folder of what it was, and in my case, Games, Control, and just click OK. So now it's on the Games, uh, Home folder, Games, and control on the runners you set it up here the wine version you want now depending on how you set up your Lutris you can install a different runners and uh, let me just show you manage of oh, yeah the managed runners yeah managed runners you can add whatever runners you want in here some emulators and so on but for the purpose of this game I'm just I just added the the uh, latest um, wine version on, on here as, as my runner okay so I'm just gonna show you here the runner option for this sometimes you have to play around with this because some sometimes it's not launching it may not launch it may launch but you can play around with this and enable DXVK or VK D3D and sometimes you also need to play around with the enable async. There's no universal settings here, guys. That's the downside of the playing in Linux. There's no universal, unfortunately. And I hope, I really hope one day that this will be fixed and make it easier for us. Okay. So after that one, you can just, um, of course, click save and you can play the game as normal. And I'm gonna show you here. I will wait until it's launched. Here you go. And those of you who don't know, by the way, this is a mango hat, mango hat. And if you're also into Linux gaming, make sure you also install the game mode. I will show you how it was this, um, how it was. So on the where's the Lutris? This is my OBS running in the background. Here on the preferences, system option, this is the FPS counter. This is the main go hand. Game mode. Um, if you want to have a game mode, but you need to make sure that you have both of this main go hand and game mode installed. 
And if you need any instruction or if you want me to show you how I configured mine, please leave a comment down below and I'd be glad to show it around to you. Okay, so I believe that's about it. And I hope you have a good time and enjoy gaming. Take care.